Do you want to create this big battle scene in simple way? I think you are in the right place. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome to my channel. Without further ado, let's begin. You see, I have wanted to do this for a long, long time. You see this amazing crowd simulation in Avengers Endgame battle scene? You see that? That's huge. You probably know that. It's not simple ragdoll simulation. It's not simple truck thrown at the crowd in uh, Houdini. You see that? So to be honest, that's why I started this Houdini crowd journey. I want to know this system. This system is capable to do this such a fighting scene. I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out in this video. Okay, for that, let's analyze a fighting scene. <laughs> of course, this is a footage online. I get that online. This is actual fight festival or a game. I don't know. So you see, this crowd uh, pick opponent and going towards that opponent and you see this guy <laughs> this guy <laughs> man chill out that's how much this fight is serious you see that so <laughs> let's get serious uh the the, the opponent will choose uh, sorry the, the the crowd will choose opponent first and going towards that opponent and of course they will change the state to fighting scene from run to fighting scene you see that and <laughs> this guy and uh, after that if the opponent knocked out the, the the crowd or the agent will go to ideal state you see that's the whole purpose of crowd or a fighting battle scene you see so let's see what we have here uh, in houdini as you can see i load up this agent from Miximo, of course, uh, I uh, I create a locomotion, specify the hips, simple. I load up a bunch of uh, clips. Let me show you. For instance, fighting ideal uh, IDL, sorry, and the run clip. Let me show you. This is a run, and this is the fighting. You see, and let me see. This is the run. It's zombie run clip. It's okay for this demonstration, and we have. Uh, IDL or normal state you can say see that so this is simple I create this uh, agent collision layer for the ragdoll of course and you see that and of course I have this agent configure joint for the limitation of the joint this is ragdoll stuff and let me show you this test ragdoll simulation of course all that it's available uh, on this playlist of the crowd if you are not familiar so we have something to work with so obviously we need two agents to interact or fighting together let's uh, do that so uh, in in first agent of course we need crowd source to instantiate that you see we have a crowd source and instead of this uh, normal uh, shape formatting or this alignment i i want this line for example i want uh, the line of this agent so i create a line and yeah i uh, specify this number for example five agent it's good i want to simplify this setup you see i want to uh, get this uh, fighting system in houdini so of course we need uh, another agent and another crowd source to the field yeah so let's see i want to duplicate the crowd source of course it will produce artifact later on we're gonna fix that so i create one agent two crowd source get it so uh, this is another line and of course i want to face that uh, towards this edge uh, crowd did you see the rotation is not working so for that we need to uh, manipulate the velocity or look at or heads up in crowd source you see 
if I go with a minus one and boom we have two crowds uh, facing each other that's cool so I want to create a color red team for example and blue team simple yeah and yeah this is awesome so now how we can pick opponent for each agent or how we can move towards the opponent that's something new to me let's cross finger let's see it will be done in houdini or not so we have these two crowdsource and now let's simulate that using this shelf tools this is amazing tools and let's uh, select the crowds and we need the run fight ideal and ragdoll so now let's see what we have okay oh surprisingly it's working you see they are moving towards each other so with that if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content share it if you want this is, will be awesome so of course the crowd is sliding in dop network so we need to enable locomotion for each clip that's amazing you see now we have natural animation but wait a minute it's not working they are avoiding each other okay that's problem let me col uh, color this crowd source and let me check if that working or not for example the blue team i want to idl or normal state to that and you see cool but it's avoiding each other that's problem for instance what what if we have this format or this alignment of the crowd you see let's see it's not going for opponent okay i guess this is a problem how we can how we can uh, fix that let's see so uh, let's see what option we have uh, of course in sub network we don't have any target maybe target or anything in here so nothing in crowd in dop network let's see we don't have any target thing or any agent option in here that's a problem i guess okay maybe let's use crowd path uh, in this tutorial i use amazing crowd path you see this is amazing you see that and i use a crowd path for that of course you can see it in this one and as you can see the crowd path take a, a curve and yeah but it's not going to work i guess so w what if i use this pop steers pop sick or maybe traction we need traction pop tracked okay we have pop tracked in here let's see is that will work or not that will give us a something so we have traction for this point you see if i change that the crowd will, will follow this point amazing but we need for each agent do we have any option for that you see for example we cannot uh, manually uh, uh, change the position for each point so what we have in here we have surface point we can use dop object amazing let's use that so that's amazing and let's see dop object including the red team of course and it's not working yeah long story short <laughs> so that's a problem what we're gonna do houdini crowd system let's see so we have amazing point attraction pop crowd so particle so we have particle and we have particle id and goal id so i guess i have an idea let me see so we need an id attribute yeah so we're gonna create that for each crowd source now of course since we have a crowd as a point packed so we have five point for each agent you see if i uh, visualize this for example id we don't have any id in matter of fact 
So I guess we have we need an ID. Which kind of ID? Integer ID for the point. So let's create that. Let's create a ID point. So let's create attribute create and let's call it ID and let's replace that with dollar OS to represent uh, the name of the node. So we're gonna use integer and we're gonna use, let's see, for example, value of two. Let me show you what is that. You see, we have an ID and we have a value of two, but I need a point number. So for that, we're gonna use add sign PT num, point number. So you see, we are copying every point number to this attribute, amazing. So that will be blue ID. That's convenient, right? So we have an ID, blue ID, amazing. And now let's create a red ID for the red team. Let me see red and let's get rid of this zero. And we have an ID. So let's go to a pop tract and let's give it to this pop tract. The particle ID, it's red team. So that's red ID, right? And the goal ID, let me disable that. And boom, it's working, I guess, you see? So that's amazing. <laughs> okay, uh, what if I, I wanna explore some option here. What if I specify just blue ID? It's not working. What if I specify both of, both of them? It's all working. This is the proper way, of course. And that's amazing, man. Of course, we're gonna uh, specify this group for the attraction. Uh, for example, I can create point group in here. It will be available in DOP network. Amazing, you see? This is a point group. For example, I wanna uh, name that a red team. Sorry, red group, it's good and I want to have a point. So by default, it will select all the point. You see, red group have five point. Amazing. This is five agent, and this is a blue group, and we have a blue and red group. So what if I specify this in here? Blue group, you see, it's not working. What if I change that to red group? Let me see, red group and boom the pop traction will work only for red group and this is nice this is one mission accomplished thanks god houdini so amazing so we did amazing job selecting and moving towards opponent for each agent and on my patreon of course we're gonna see how we can change the state from running to fighting near every opponent you see that and we're gonna fix some issue facing each other you see that's a big issue and big shout out for these amazing people on my patreon thank you guys i appreciate it but unfortunately this is not finished for example how we can knock them out how we can agent uh, hit the opponent and knock them out uh, and go into the ragdoll state or for example facing each other you see this agent it's uh, killing the opponent you can say a heavy word i guess <laughs> for example this agent after the knock, uh, knock the opponent down how we can bring that agent to the normal state or ideal state this is a, a important question so we're going to discuss all that in next tutorial so Stay tuned for that. Have fun. Goodbye.